We're gonna have to go. Hey, sweet gang, it's your girl Rochelle coming to you with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the cotton candy candy apple. So this video is real simple. We're gonna do a little bit of marbling with our candy mixture. And I'm going to use a small recipe for this video. And I will go into details about that before we get started. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Once this video is done, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing some new subscribers. And definitely, Ro is going to give you life. So let's get into the video. So what I have before you are the supplies. And I have cotton candy cotton candy is pink and blue i have my apple sticks my paper straws my already clean apples i have a half a cup of light corn syrup half a cup of water my candy thermometer my mixing spoon and my pot with the two cups of sugar already in the recipe that I'm using is the half recipe of the 411, which is two cups of sugar, a half cup of water, and a half cup of corn syrup. And we're going to get started and get into this video. Right now, we're going to go ahead and mix up our mixture, which is the two cups of sugar, half cup of water, and half cup of corn syrup. Let's get that all mixed in. And we want to make sure we mix it well, combining all the ingredients. The size pot that I'm using is a three quart pot, which is a medium size pot. Um, heavy duty. This is actually a tea, tea foam pot, um, which is very good to use, but you want to use a heavy bottom pot. It don't matter if it's stainless steel, but you don't want to use a thin pot. pot. It will cook too quickly. All right. So what we're going to do is set your stove on medium high heat. If you have digital, then you want to do between five and six. And I'm just cooking on my famous February hot plate. I'm going to turn it right on up. All right. And we're going to let this mixture cook till it reaches 300 degrees. That's where our candy thermometer comes in. We're going to place our candy thermometer right at the side of the pot, letting the tip just get right above at the candy mixture. So while our candy mixture is cooking, we're going to go ahead and prep our candy apples. So we're gonna take our apples and our sticks and our straws, and we're just gonna go ahead and apply them to the apple. You wanna make sure when you pierced your apple, you wanna make sure you have it in a upright straight direction so that it can be even with your other apples. You want them to be in sync as a display when you're serving your customer. So let's go ahead and apply our straw, pressing firmly down, shake it to make sure it's not going anywhere. And we're going to add our other straw and stick to the other candy apple, pressing down. Applying our second straw. Firmly press down. Shake. And to line up your apples, to make sure your straws come out even as so, to make sure they're good, at least close enough. And then you're all set and you're ready to dip. Here's a tip for you all. When piercing your straw and your stick, make sure 
that after you have pierced, you want to check around the straw to make sure no juice has came up. If so, you want to take a paper towel or a damp cloth and wipe around there to make sure you dry that up so that the candy mixture, once you dip, you will not create a bubble at the top. So the covers that I'm going to be using for this particular apple, I'm going to be using the brand Chef Masters. It's a liquid gel food coloring, and I'm going to be using the rose pink, the sky blue, and of course the liquid whitener that will help enhance the color. And of course, since this is a cotton candy apple, I'm going to use a cotton candy flavor by Loran Oils. All right, so our mixture has reached 250 degrees. And at this time, I'm going to add the flavor. And I'm just gonna add in a few drops since this is half mixture. And if it was a normal mixture, then you can add the full bottle. And then we're gonna remove our mixture at 300 degrees. Our mixture has reached 300 degrees. We're going to remove it from our eye and place it on our silicone mat. All right. Removing the candy thermometer, you want to place your candy thermometer thermometer in a cup of water to make sure you get that candy mixture off the bottom of it okay so now that our bubbles are starting to settle we're going to go ahead and add in our color we're going to start off with the white making sure that our colors are shook up well so you want to add just a few drops of white Stir that in and the reason why I'm adding the white first because I want to go ahead and add in the blue and even though I may have to add more white which is okay and this is why I like adding my color at the end shaking up my sky blue adding about four drops So as I mix this in, now I can see how much more white I can add. So a few more white, drops of white, and then a few more drops of blue. So now that I mix this really well, okay, then I'm gonna shake up my pink and then mix in my pink. Taking an apple stick and just swirl it around just a little bit so that you can get that marble effect. Then taking your apple, making sure that it's white good. Okay. I want to make sure that blue is mixed in. I don't want to get all red. Making sure my apple is completely covered. And this is a pretty, pretty marble blue and pink. Came out a little darker than I expected, but this is very nice for marbling. 
And once again, taking your apple, dipping, giving it a nice swirl. And this is definitely the effect that I'm looking for. Making sure that your candy mixture drizzle off as much as possible. Scraping the side of the pot to get, remove that excess. Placing it on your silicone mat. Okay, you wanna let that sit for a few minutes before you apply the cotton candy. Now that our apple is done, got that beautiful marble touch to it. Nice finished bottom. All right. So what we're going to do is take out some of our cotton candy and try to have a good mixture as possible like the pink and the blue. Making a hole and just applying it to your apple. All right, sweet peeps, there you have it, your cotton candy, candy apple. When applying the cotton candy, you wanna make sure that your apples are completely cool because it will melt your cotton candy. So make sure that your apples are completely cool before applying. And there you have a cotton candy apple. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a comment in the comment section letting me know and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to let you know your girl wrote. Definitely coming to give you life. I enjoy doing this tutorial with you all as I always do. And you already know, it's your girl Ro. Getting ready to go, but you will definitely see me in the next video. Bye-bye.